Greetings. Join me as I review the series premiere of Heroes Reborn. I gotta say, this is a pretty awesome start to a brand new fresh take in the Heroes universe. And, and um, you know, it, it's a good, you know, it's good showing um, where it goes from here after after um, the cancellation of the original show, you know, picks up from there. We know like when Claire pretty much expose, exposes herself to the world and everyone else does at the carnival. And then, um, and then you know, like you're like, what happens from there? Like what happens? So we finally get to see that. And, um, and in, in the opening scene, Noah Bennett is, um, I think he's, you know, trying to meet Claire at um, at some kind of festival or whatnot or whatever, and then all of a sudden there's like a like a terrorist attack, and then you know lives are you know the city's decimated. You know this all happened in in Texas, um, somewhere in Texas. I can't remember exactly where in Texas, but yeah, I mean lives are devastated. You know, like the city is like like it's like total destruction and. And people are blaming, you know, those with abilities. So that puts them on the run. And then, and you know, they're being hunted down like animals, like like they were in season three of Heroes, the original show. You know, like where they're all being hunted down and shit, but not to be locked up or anything, but to be slaughtered in cold blood. And and they have like these, and they have this couple. He's doing that. They're like Bonnie and Clyde. They're, they're just out on a killing spree. They're not. You know, they're not going to, you know, look for, you know, those with abilities to hunt them down or to test them or to hold them hostage or anything like that. They're going to kill them in cold blood because I believe they lost their child to someone with abilities. I mean, I guess a supervillain or whatever. You know, maybe it was an accident. I can't remember exactly. Or maybe it was an intentional, maybe it was an intentional murder. And that's what drove them crazy. But... Either way, I mean, it, it set them off, and they're like, if you have, a, if anyone with special abilities, you know, they have to die. You know, they're gonna shoot them down in cold blood. Man, woman, boy, girl, child, whatever, doesn't matter. All ages, you know, they will kill them. So, and then, so I think the front runner of this show, as far as the new kids go, is probably Tommy. Um, he's he's like very isolated and um. You know he's very you know he's he just wants he all he wants is to be normal i mean like he he doesn't want to be he doesn't want to look over his shoulder with um you know people you know figuring out who he is and and and, and trying to you know hurt him or kill him and he just he just wants he just wants to be away from all of that and um and it's getting to that point where he's trying to figure himself out you know figure out more about his powers and figure out more about himself and and he's like, like I said, like I mean, I said this in my in my um, heroes trailer reaction video. Like he's basically this shows Peter Petrelli, only he's like trying to, he's not trying to figure out. Well, he is trying to figure out his abilities, but he's, I think he's trying to figure out more about himself and how to deal with this. And and um, I think you know there, there's a hero in this guy, and he's gonna rise up to the occasion, like um, as the show progresses. And I'm pretty sure um. That um, he will be a strong, there will be a strong leadership in him as well. And um, I'm looking forward to seeing where that takes him. You know, I'm really looking forward to that. And then we got Miko. I mean, she's also an interesting character because she can, she can teleport into a video game like world. And it's like when that happens, it's like you ultimately cut to another show. Like you go from watching Heroes Reborn to like, like, uh, a show on Adult Swim or some shit like that. I mean, like that—that's like crazy, and um, I mean that's an interesting, different, very, very different ability, and um, and um, and then her um, and then she has a this kid who um, who knocked on the door, and then you know they they're just not meeting, and he's and he just figured out very quickly that you know that it's her, like in that game or whatever, and then he's trying to help her through it, and she's trying to avenge. You know her father's death, and um, 
And I think it has something to do with that game. I mean, I guess. I don't know. I mean, this this series leaves a lot of questions. And it keeps you curious. And it doesn't quite bore you. I mean, it, it you know, it lets you get to know the, these new characters at the same time while you're trying to figure out what the hell is going on. And I'm glad they left the questions up in the air. And, but, what really, I mean, my nitpick is what, I mean, that Bennett jump to that conclusion that Claire died in that in that terrorist attack or whatever. But what made him jump to that conclusion? I mean like I don't think she's dead. I mean like it, it's just you know that's just you know she's just too big of a character to be killed off. I think mean, that's gonna leave the door open for her reappearance down the line. And um my prediction is that she's been being held captive somewhere by somebody I don't know, you know how, you know how, you know, she gets, you know, like when you hit her right at the back of her head, you know, that slows her down and that puts her in a catatonic state. You know, I think that's, that's what somebody did and it took her away. I mean, that that's just my theory. Feel free to leave your comments in the section. Let me know what you think happened to Claire. You know. And, um, we don't really see any of the other, any of the other familiar faces. We don't see Hero or Mohinder or, um, Matt yet. I mean, we just focus more on the, on these new kids, and Noah Bennett's pretty much the only one there. Oh yeah, and and, and his assistant, his original assistant Renee, the you know the black dude who can raise memories. I mean, he he comes back in this as well, and he tries to kill Bennett, and then he and he asks him why why did you try to kill me, and then he told him like because you told me to, and it's like more questions like what does this mean like what is coming like what is coming. I mean, it is ridiculous, and it ke it's keeping you puzzled in. It ke it, it, you know, I am glued to, you know, what's going on here. I want to know what's going on. And I like the fact that, you know, Tommy has this ability where he can touch somebody and teleport them, you know, a, you know, to another place, and he doesn't know where he's teleport them teleporting them to. I think once he gets the hang of his abilities, he can focus on a place and where to put them and whatnot. I mean, but in the meantime, he just... He, isn't, he does not have control of his abilities to that to that magnitude. So, I mean, like, that would be a fun ability to have, wouldn't it? I mean, for example, like, if you were, like, if you were a little kid in school and then the principal, you know, is, you know wants to try to call, you know, call your uh, parents or whatever because you got in trouble in class or whatever, and then he just sits in your office. Now, why were you stealing the lunch money from the kids? I'm going to have to call your parents. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I mean that. I mean, like, you see how that would be a fun ability to have. Oh man, that. <laughs> then if what, and then what character really interest really uh, got my attention? What really had me interested? Well, the most the most interesting character to me, you know, well, like by far in in this new series is um, I forgot the what the fuck his name is, but he puts on a different a different persona. He puts on the mask to hide his identity, and he gets it. Finally, a character in the Heroes universe who gets it. I mean, like, you know, being exposed to the world like that and knowing who knows your abilities, that puts you in danger and those you love in danger. And he gets that. And that's why he puts on the mask. And I forgot what the hell his superhero name is, but I'm going to call him the Masked Vigilante. But he gets killed off. I'm like, why would you kill him off? I mean, like, this would be an interesting character to keep around. But I think, you know, Luke... Um, the, um, the character Luke, I think he may eventually put on, you know, put on that mask and be the new mask, uh, blah, 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 the mask vigilante. And that's what I'm thinking. I mean, I mean, like you can feel, you can, you can just feel it. I mean, like, you know, the way he, he was there when he, when that other guy died. I mean, like you can feel it. It's like passing on the mantle when he looks at the mask and everything. And so that's what I think is going to happen in the, you know, future episodes that he's going to wear that mask. And um, protect his identity and the people he loves by doing in, in the process. So, yeah. Though, I mean, as much as I would have liked to see the other familiar faces in this pilot, I, I thinking back, like, um, I'm, I'm okay with that because there was a lot going on in this episode. And um, you wanted to focus more on, you know, the new characters and, um, you know, what they can do and how they're handling the situation. And what's interesting is I don't think there's going to be any supervillains in this, you know, like anytime soon. It's like 
pretty much those super powered beings against human beings. I mean, like us, you know, us humans are the villains. And um, it's and as far as we know, there's no struggle, there's no debate over, you know, over like, oh, we need to destroy the humans. We need to show them who's boss. We need to, we need to, you know, punish them. We need to show. We need to. They need to be scared of us. And then. And, and then and you have the other side that's like, no, we have to protect them. We have to protect them. We have to show them that we are the better people, that we are not to be feared. Blah, blah, blah. None of that happens, at least not yet. I mean, there's just too much going on. So it's just like, like they all have to band together, you know, to fight against this little anti-racism that they're, you know, that they're um, drowning in. But um, I can't think if I missed anything else in, in this in my um in my review on this uh opening of the new show um it was great i mean i I'd give it a i give it a eight out of one to ten i mean it was a great start i mean you know there was a lot going on and you know the new characters keep you interested and you want to see where it goes from here i mean and it it raises a lot of questions i mean ah oh man i just hope they don't i just hope they don't answer them all too soon I mean, I just hope we they take their time with this, and then we just see where it goes in here, and there, and there, and there. So that is my review for Heroes Reborn. If you liked my review, be sure to thumb up the video, share it, subscribe to my channel for more awesome videos to come. And until next time, Nerdy Blation is signing out. Peace out.